Hello everyone, my name's Kim. <clears throat> I'm a sepsis survivor. I had um, a urine infection that um, led to sepsis. If I'd have been treated quickly, I wouldn't have lost my hands and my legs. Uh, my legs are quite short, as you can see. They're above the knee. Uh, I ended up spending nine weeks in a coma and eight months in hospital having rehab learning how to sit up um, and move again after laying in bed for months and months um, I had no idea what sepsis was I'd never heard of it before uh, I don't know um, of, of many people that have survived it you know I've, I've heard of an awful lot that have died and so this is why I raise awareness, because it breaks my heart to think that getting antibiotics quickly can save your life. If you have an infection <clears throat> and you start to feel unwell, please go immediately to the hospital or the doctors and insist they test you for sepsis. My symptoms for sepsis were freezing cold hands and feet. I go down here for my feet they're not there <laughs> um, freezing cold hands and feet I had two pairs of socks on I had a hot water bottle under my feet and it wasn't keeping them warm I was cold and shivering I had a jumper on I had a blanket wrapped round me I had the central heating on and I was shivering and yet I'd got a temperature I had slurred speech I was very confused I don't remember if I went for a wee in 24 hours. That's another symptom. You might only get one of the symptoms. You might get all of them. You might not get any, but you will feel unwell. I felt extremely unwell and I knew it was something more serious than just a urine infection. I started to get pain in my left side here. I went to the hospital in Spain as I was on holiday and I said to them dolor aquí and pointed here that means pain here I was so confused I don't remember anything else but I do remember telling them that they did an x-ray and sent me away no further test was done they just said nothing was broken I knew that I'd walked in there I thought I had a kidney infection but I didn't know how to say that in Spanish. I didn't think to look it up on Google before I went. I do know a little bit of Spanish. I could have said infection. I do, I do know that. Um, but I didn't think. I was too confused. So the next day, I went to the doctors. I did a Google Translate and screenshot it on my phone and said, I think I have a urine infection. Apparently that doctor tested my urine, said I had a urine infection, gave me an injection in my bottom, we have no idea what that was for, and gave us a prescription for the antibiotics. When we went to the chemist to get the antibiotics, <clears throat> excuse me, my husband was told they didn't have any in stock to come back the next day. By four o'clock that morning, I, f I woke up feeling like I was going to die. I just knew that I needed to get to hospital immediately. So I woke my husband and this is what happened. When I woke up, my hands and legs were black. My arms were black. Luckily, I managed to keep my arms, but you can see they're quite, this one's really badly scarred, but I've got scars all over from the sepsis. Please, please learn the symptoms. Know the signs. If you have an infection, get immediate treatment. If you suspect, if you suspect an infection has turned to sepsis, it needs to be. 999 or get yourself immediately to the hospital. The ambulance service are brilliant. 
they will do the tests that they can do for your blood pressure and uh, your pulse and things like that because they usually go high or low and so they are red flags to the ambulance service and so they will be aware of that just please keep yourself safe keep your family safe just learn the symptoms thank you for listening